For centuries, people have sought the secrets to longevity. And with the constant advancement of science and technology, is it possible that we're close to finding the fountain of youth? It's a concept explored by author Jamie Metzl in his latest novel, Eternal Sonata. The book is set in the not too distant future, in the year 2025, and examines the impact revolutionary technology could have on humankind. He joined me a short time ago. Jamie Metzl, in your novel, a reporter uncovers the fact that scientists have discovered the secret to living longer and a multinational will stop at nothing to get their hands on the technology. Yes. In real life, is science close to finding a way to extend our lifespan? Absolutely. The science of age extension is advancing in very fundamental ways. And the first piece of that is just understanding the human genome. And we're about 13 years away from the end of the Human Genome Project, but now we're understanding more and more of the genetic foundations of age and the rate of aging. And the more that we understand that, the more we're going to figure out ways that the human body is hackable over time in the way that an iPhone is hackable. That's a terrifying concept, isn't it, that people could hack into our bodies? Well, it's good and it's bad. Our bodies do all kinds of wonderful things, and then our bodies do, do bad things, like get diseases and decline and decay. And so the very same technologies that are going to allow us to fix a lot of problems and cure a lot of genetic diseases are going to open the door to doing all kinds of things that we thought were impossible, but over time we'll see more and more possible. In your book, a multinational company murders people to get at this technology, but in real life, how intense is the interest from big companies in technology that would enable us to live longer? Well, the, tech, the investment isn't really in technology to live longer. That's in some ways a byproduct of the real investment that's going into curing diseases. But just that, those are the kinds of investments. In the book, for example, it's a cancer researcher who figures out that you can't cure cancer in itself, but you have to figure out a way to reverse age cancer cells first, but then general cells. And that is it's the pursuit of cancer that opens the door to these other, these other types of applications. And in some ways, it has to do with funding. We have funding for addressing diseases. We don't have funding, significant funding, at the same level for curing aging. But there are some people who are saying that aging is a disease, and we should try to treat it like a disease. You set the book in 2025, and you say it's a thriller set in the near future. Yeah. Is that deliberate? It is deliberate. I mean, when someone goes to see Star Wars. They're not thinking, wow, a Wookiee. Someday I'm going to have a Wookiee. That's really relevant to me. It's, it's fun and it's entertaining. I write uh, fiction in the near future because I want people to feel that this world is kind of like theirs because the technologies that I write about are real world technologies. I'm talking about future generations of those technologies, but now is the time when we need to be looking at these technologies and trying to understand not only their implications for today, but their implications for the future. Would you want to live forever? Absolutely. Well, that's an easy question. I mean, I wouldn't like to live forever, not in, in some vegetative state, but in a, in a, with a long health span. So I'm vigorous and full of life, and that would be great. It would indeed. Jamie Metzl, thanks for joining us. Thanks so much.